Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video we're going to do this very simple paintbrush style lower third in HitFilm Express. So this is actually really easy effect. The first thing you want to do is pick up a stock footage asset. You can get it at Production Crate. There is a link in the description below. Go to Production Crate, click on that link, and then look for multi thin paint stroke and you'll find that there are five of them here four of those are for the people who have a paid account but this one number two is free so i'm just going to go ahead and use that one you can set up a free account and then download that and then bring it into hit film when you bring it into hit film uh, then what you'll want to do is you'll want to start by creating a composite shot that will be your lower third. And I personally like lower thirds to be no longer than four seconds, but you can make it however long you want. And I'm going to just click OK. And then I'm going to bring in my paint stroke. This is actually a four second long um, item. So what I'm going to do is just go to the two second mark, use my uh, rate stretch tool and just drag this stretching it or shrinking it as it were down to that. Then I'm going to right click on this and duplicate it. And I will drag the duplicate over and then I will add a time reverse effect to that and it will basically have it reverse out at the end, right? Now, if I turn on the checkerboard background, you can see that this is actually um, very much a uh, transparent asset, okay? So now that we have that, we can go ahead and add our text. Uh, what I will do is just draw a box here, and I will just go ahead and type in the name and I will type in the title. And then using the text tab, I can go ahead and just make, you know, some adjustments to that, making it look good and whatnot. I can change, of course, all of the, uh, you know, the, the, everything about it, the, the font, uh, the size, the works. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to pull up this because I want something in here to match this. So I'm just going to use maybe that red there. Um, and then as far as the paintbrush is concerned, I can go ahead and put a grade layer above the two paintbrush things. And then I can add a fill of color effect to the paint or to the grade layer, I should say. Uh, and then I can use, I can sort of select something that is, uh, you know, like that. If you want, I can add a, uh, um, you know, a, a drop shadow effect to the text just to make it stand out a little bit better. Uh, I might mess around with those settings slightly. Okay. So the last thing that needs to happen is I need to go ahead and have this appear only when the paintbrush is there. So it's a very simple matter of adding a set matte effect. And when I do that to the text, I can go ahead and source the grade layer. Okay. Now you'll notice it makes everything go funky, but if I s switch this to subtract and then invert, okay, now it will basically only show where the set mat is on that uh and then when it goes away it goes away so now if i come out to my editor timeline and i uh let's say i bring in my footage and then i bring in the lower third right you can see that the lower third is a little bit too big there right but that's okay because all i have to do is just adjust the scale here of that and of course i can position it wherever i want sort of a thing and basically, that's it. It's a real super quick and easy, uh, in a nutshell, um, way of doing a, uh, you know, this sort of lower third here uh, using this paintbrush style. So 
If you like this kind of content, do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon for notifications. Feel free to share it with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.